The city of Odawara is only one and a half hour from Tokyo, but it is often only a point of transit for tourists on their way to Hakone. While Hakone is indeed a very beautiful place to visit, if you have half a day to spare, then I highly recommend you check out Odawara city as well. You can start the day off the beaten path at Odawara's local fish market, a quick 15 minutes bus ride from the station. Right at the entrance, you can see there's a barbecue area. The family's grilling some scallops and oysters on the barbecue. So here, you can buy the fresh seafood. Scallops, squid, more scallops, salmon, octopus. Wow, look at the size of those crab legs. Those are just the legs. Oh, look at those fatty tuna. They're so pink. Oh, today's taste test. I love taste tests because that usually means free food. No idea what this is. Some kind of dried <laughs> fish skin maybe? Also have no idea what this yellow thing is. Definitely have no idea what this pink shredded thing is. Oh my god, I feel so clueless here. So one of the specialties here in Odawara is aji, which is horse mackerel. You can see them being sold everywhere here in the fish market. The other specialty here is this block of red and white thing here. This is called kamaboko which is a type of fish paste. Next door is where all the fish are being packaged to be delivered across Japan. But not gonna lie, I came here because I saw another taste test sign and I'm never gonna turn down free food. They're grilling some fish over charcoal. I think this is a uh, horse mackerel, this is aji. So I think it's just self-serve, help yourself. Let's get a big piece of horse mackerel. All right, and uh, put it on the grill. All right, I think it's done. You can see uh, it's nice and crispy on the outside. Hmm. The skin is a little bit salty. I think I got lucky. The whole piece doesn't have any bones in it. Here they got a stand selling snacks. You got a deep fried mackerel, so aji karage. Maybe I'll try one of those. How much are they? Oh, only 100 yen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, she chucks it straight into the deep fryer. Okay. Senbu, okay. <laughs> Senbu, okay. <laughs> so you need the whole thing. Huh. So here you got the fried mackerel. You can see this little poor guy has been totally deep fried. Oh, there's bones in there. I'm hoping once you deep fry them, you can just crunch through the bones. She said I can eat the whole thing, including the head. Mm. It's nicely fried, not too oily. See, the outside is crispy. The inside is still very tender. I like it. For only 100 yen, it's a bargain. All the bones are deep fried to the point where you can just chew through them. Oh my god, I can see this super fat cat here. Uh, <laughs> where are you going? It's probably got fat from all the fish he steals from the fish market. Okay, now for an actual proper breakfast meal. I'm here at one of the seafood restaurants in the fish market. This one here is called... Uh, I don't know what this one is called, but... Here is their menu. Everything is in Japanese, so I'm having a little bit of trouble. But basically, I think they specialize in kaisen don, which is seafood rice bowls. I think I'm gonna get this one. The seafood here in this bowl are all the specialty seafood from this fish market. So, yeah, sounds good to me. Oh, look at that. That's a lot of seafood. I think this is the aji, the horse mackerel. No idea what this slightly red thing is. This is probably squid, the white one. This is maybe saba. Got some egg here. That's definitely salmon. And this tiny little white fish here is called shiraisu. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of fish and a little bit of rice and uh, eat it almost like a sushi. Mm -hmm. That is so fresh. It tastes like the sea. Super, super fresh. Unbelievably fresh. And all these fish are giant chunks. You know, this one is huge. So now I'm gonna grab some of the horse mackerel. Oh, that is delicious. The texture of the fish is like so buttery smooth. It goes down so easily. Lastly, to try some of this shiraisu, the tiny white fish. Hmm. Oh, I was not expecting that. It's got a very distinct flavor to it, and they're quite tender. I was expecting something really soft. They're so small, but it's actually got a little bounce to it. I like it. Mm. All the restaurants here have roughly the same menu, all with fresh seafood sourced straight from the fish market. But if you're willing to line up early, then I recommend the fish market cafeteria inside the commercial section of the fish market. This used to be a canteen exclusively for the workers here, so it's very affordable, but it is now a super popular restaurant open to the public who'd line up even before they open. Now I didn't have time to wait, but if you do, let me know how it tastes. 
After lunch, you can take a walk to Odawara Castle Park and check out the reconstruction of the 15th century Odawara Castle. For 510 yen, you can also climb to the top where you can have a panoramic view of the city where the mountain meets the sea. There is a tent here where you can pretend to be a ninja and throw some ninja stars, a shuriken. Oh. <laughs> I figured I might as well give it a go for 200 yen. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, there is also a ninja museum on the castle grounds which I think is mostly targeted at kids but also good if you're a weave and you want to live out your Naruto fantasies but it's almost lunchtime so I'm gonna go get some food for lunch, I'm here at Uogashiden, right next to Odawara Station. They also specialize in kaisendon and source their seafood straight from the Odawara fish market we visited earlier. As you can see, all the pictures here look absolutely incredible, but I'm here to try their famous three-colored shirasudon that comes with raw, cooked, and soy sauce marinated shirasu. I like the atmosphere in this restaurant. Everything on the walls are handwritten. Have signatures of what I assume to be celebrities, so this place must be pretty famous. All right, lunch is served. You got this huge bowl of white bait on rice. So the shiraisu, three different kinds. So she said I should mix up the egg. Oh God, I hope I'm doing this right and I'm not ruining the fish. I think that's what you're meant to do. Now all three different types are kind of mixed together that it's mixed with eggs inside mm. oh yeah it's super fresh it's definitely got that fishy taste it's kind of strange thinking something so small and basically transparent has a lot of flavor in there the texture is almost like jelly when you bite into it it kind of burst out that flavor of the ocean but here at the side I saw that they had fried mackerel. So remember, mackerel aji is the specialty here in Odawara. Oh, oh. On the outside, it's got that signature Japanese katsu taste. Crunchy and crispy, but not too oily. And on the inside, you got the mackerel, tender flaky meat, slightly salty, pretty good. It's not a bad fish to fry. It also goes really well with the tartar sauce they provide. It's like a fish and chips from Australia, but without the oil. 